So why did I sign up for this course? Well, first of all, because it was being run by Miranda and I had met Miranda two years ago, maybe three years ago. And so I was familiar with the professionalism and the wealth of knowledge that she has. Um, so it was a no brainer for me to sign up. As soon as I saw it, I think I was on it very quickly. As soon as I, as soon as it was posted, I think it was probably maybe first or second, I don't know. Anyway, I was on there quite quickly. So we had a group of four in this on this course. Um, is four the right number? Probably is, although I have no experience of having any other number. So for me, four was the right number. We had an hour every, for we four sessions each of an hour. Miranda's very strict about starting on time, which she did, and finishing on time, which she did, which I value because our time is valuable. And so that's really important. So you knew that you were gonna be finished on the dot, you were starting on the dot, you were finished on the dot. But within that hour, everybody, got their time. So after every session, Miranda set us homework and was very clear about what that homework was. So she said it while we were in session at the end, but we also got a very clear email with a deadline uh, and a very specific request about what it was we were to do. We were also accountable. So because she paired us up, we had to be accountable to everybody, uh, to the other person. So there was no getting out clause which is what sometimes we need because we often put these things to the bottom of the list and say, oh yeah, no, you know, um, oh, I'll, I'll get round to it, I'll get round to it, and other, th other things get in the way. But in this instance, we, we couldn't get round to it, it had to be done. Um, and I know that when I'm <coughs> spending money on a course, I need to get the value, so that's good. And, and she also knows that, which is why she does it, which is great. So that was the example. I think that making, putting, putting us into pairs and making us accountable to each other was really, is really a, a really strong nudge. I mean, you can't wangle your way out of that one. So that's very clever, <laughs> but it works. <laughs> I can talk about my business all day, every day, but I want other people to talk about my business and Miranda's the person to help me do that. I need people to talk about my business in their voice to know, so I understand what benefits they're getting, what makes it right for them. And Miranda has nudged and sometimes nudged quite hard, which is good, to um, to prize that open and to make me and to make me do that. And I love that. So what Miranda does is she makes you see um, how your clients are seeing what you do rather than how you are seeing what you think they're seeing what you do. If that makes sense, that's a roundabout way of saying that she makes you see your business from your client's perspective or your potential client's perspective. And therefore, she pushes you to talk about it in the way that your audience is going to grab it and come and work with you. But she also captures your passion for what you do, which is really important because people buy people. And she's got a very good way of, of, of grabbing that passion and making it a central part of your story. We as business people need to understand what our clients are saying about our business and the quickest and easiest way to do it is to capture people on video. Um, and Miranda not only gives you the tools, she gives you the questions, she tells you how to ask the questions, she tells you how not to ask the questions, she tells you how to stay quiet between the questions. So there's a whole lot of um, information that she gives which will make it feel easy normal you're, it'll make you feel like you're not imposing upon your clients so she, she does lots of things but she's very good at pulling out the how something made you feel rather than the uh, tactile benefits so she, she's very good at digging deeper into um, the root cause of something and bringing you right back it's very good she's very good and and and, and she's very clear that stories are the things that will make the difference, telling your story, telling your client's story, but letting them tell their story. Um, yeah. The benefits are that you will have video clips that you can reuse and, and, and use on lots of platforms. You can re, you can change them, you can um, move them, you know, you can, you can use them in lots of different ways, but she nudges you into places that you may not have gone before and she will push you out, out of your comfort zone not in a major way but in a very gentle way that makes you feel very safe um, 
and you'll try things that you've never tried before. The, the key after it is to make sure that you continue to do it. And that's where the challenge will be. <laughs> The most interesting thing for me was that we were four very different people in four very different businesses, but actually our stories were very, very, very similar. And what we were trying to do was very, very similar. We're just doing it in different ways with different tools. That's the bit that I love the most. <laughs> but yeah, I would, yeah, highly recommend it. Um, I think we often all think about having a marketing plan and having a business plan and all of the things that we're supposed to do. But actually this is a great marketing plan on its own.